Good morning, guys. Uh, I am Vishal Rao, a verified educator in Fun Academy Learning App. And you can follow me there. Just type Vishal Rao, and you can get all the access to my uh, new courses related to bar exam. Uh, I have recently added a new course uh, in Un Academy Learning App that is uh, Nuclear Chemistry. So you can get access not only to me but also to various uh, educators in Un Academy. So please go to Un Academy and type my name Vishal Rao, and you can get all the access uh, to related to chemistry, related to economics, and many various related subjects. So today we will uh, start a new topic that is X-ray spectroscopy. It is a new, uh, we can say it is a old branch of chemistry. Uh, it, is, it is generally uh, discovered in Germany. Uh, there was a German fellow named Röntgen. So he was uh, doing an experiment in cathode ray tube. So he found a peculiar type of ray. So he done that, that he take, uh, took the X-ray, that he took the X-ray of his wife and he saw the bone of his wife. So his wife told that I have seen, I have uh, seen my own death because uh, no one know that X-ray really exists and no one know that the property is very good. So at that time it was named as X-ray because in mathematics uh, we let a quantity let be X. So that that the ray is named as X-ray means that is the unknown ray. So in this topic we'll uh, study about the X-ray origin of X-ray its um, diffraction pattern, how it is determined and how it is diffracted from various crystal planes we will study in this X-ray spectroscopy. So first of all, I want to uh, explain you, uh, I want to tell you that we have already, already studied in class 12 board exam or in 12th exam that, that electron can be excited from lower cell to higher cell by supplying a minimum quantity of energy. Right. So minimum quantity of energy is supplied so that an electron can be excited to higher levels and after the ex excitation it will come back to its original level by emitting a certain amount of energy which is correspond to a particular wavelength. So is it possible that we can excite an electron without providing energy? Means I want to try to excite electron by providing, not providing energy by knocking out that in, in internal electron so that electron transition can occur. Yes, it is possible in X-ray spectroscopy. Okay, so we know that atom contains various cells named as K, L, M, N, which is the principal quantum number at N is equal to 1, N is equal to 2, N is equal to 3. So I will show you di di diagrammatically how it is done. So there is a nucleus cell, it is a first cell. It is the second cell and this is the third cell. So I will name this cell as K cell which is N is equal to 1. I will name this cell as L cell which is N is equal to 2. And I will name this cell as N which is N is equal to 3. So this is the nucleus and this is the first cell, second cell and third cell. Right. So here is one electron. Here is another electron and here is another electron. Okay. So there are many electrons, but I am showing only a single electron in a particular cell. We already studied in class 12 exam uh, that in class 12 board, e board exam that when you provide a certain amount of energy, the electron gets excited and it comes back to its original level after de excitation and it releases a certain amount of energy. Right. It may be a certain, it may be uh, correspond to a fixed quantity of wavelength, maybe it in IR region, maybe in UV region, etc. But I want to uh, pro I want to create this electromagnetic transition, this electromagnetic transition without de excitation. I want to knock out, means I want to remove this electron, how it can be done, right? So it can be done, I, I can explain now. This electron, I am providing an electron, a fast moving electron is travelling from here. A fast moving electron is travelling from here and it collides with this electron. 
so this electron get no power means this electron is completely removed so at that position it creates a vacancy it creates a vacancy so that vacancy can be filled by the electron in the higher levels means maybe it may be filled by the electron which are present in l cell or maybe the electron which are present in m cell right so when this electron comes up from l cell or m cell it releases a certain amount of energy that is known as electronic transition that electron transition is nothing but electromagnetic radiation right so this is the all the phenomena in x ray origin and one thing is important that in x ray we need a, the energy should be of that in x ray radiation the energy we need a short wavelength and a high energetic radius and high energetic radius this is the condition for x ray so how it can how we can generate x ray by uh, by uh, applying these two condition that is short wave and it should be high energetic radius so we can generate uh, we have no you have knew that when you go from higher levels that is from lower levels to higher level energy then the energy difference between the successive cells decreases that is from when you go from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 2 it has the highest amount of energy difference but the energy difference between 3 and 2 is decreases and from n is equal to 3 to 4 then further decreases and it decreases on and on okay so the high energy difference is found from here so the electronic transition from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 poses a very high energetic radiation so one condition is applied the one condition is obeyed and the another condition is short wave we know that if uh, we found that if this is the high energetic radiation it is a high energetic radiation because the energy difference between n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 is very maximum so we know that uh, e is equal to h nu okay so we can write that e is equal to h nu is equal, we can write that sum by lambda so e is inversely proportional to 1 by lambda right so e is inverse to 1 by 1 by lambda e is inversely proportional to 1 by lambda so the high energetic radiation from n is equal to n is equal to 1 means it is very hard so inversely proportional means it is a should be short wave length so the two conditions are okay right it should be of short wave length and it should be of high energetic radius these both two conditions are obeyed so uh, x ray uh, to uh, to define x ray it means that the transition of electrons from that cell to the lower cell in such a way that it should poses a high energetic radiation and it should be of short wave right so how to generate this x rays means how to generate the x ray we have done studied in theory that i have told in theory that x ray will uh, an electron will bombarded and one electron will be nick will be removed and it will be there will be a vacancy that will be filled by the electron in l cell or m cell so we want to know how this electrons are how these x rays are generated instrumentally so how this can be generated right so there is a instrument known as x ray tube x ray tube uh, which is it can easily generate x ray so i will explain with a diagram
from here also x rays are generating x rays are generating and it should be water cooled i will explain how why it is it should be water cooled an electron is traveling from this position to this position okay this is the whole instrumental uh, diagrammatic situation how to generate x rays so when we generate an x ray from cathode coil that is in all these instrument are found in cath uh, cathode ray tube so we are generating from electron from cathode uh, with an oscillating potential of something about 1 to 50 electron volt we are supplying that quantity of energy so that electron can travel at faster rate and can bombard the target material it is the target material after after bombarding this target material the electron which are present in the target material get excited by the incoming electron this electron transfers some of its energy to the electrons which are present in the target material right so when this electron get energized they uh, get excited to higher levels means higher cells that is it may be l cell m cell or n cell after some time they get excited and come back to its lower level right so they emit a certain amount of radiation that is amount of energy that is known as electromagnetic radiation but we need high energetic radiation and short wavelength radiation means the transition should be from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 this is the condition we need this is this is the reason where high electro high electromagnetic radiations get uh, get emerged or we can say get releases high electromagnetic radiation releases so this is the condition that is n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 so we know that the energy electron get excited to higher levels and come back to this lower level and emit some electromagnetic radiation but we need this that this transition that is from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 how it can be done so scientists the scientists did that they bombarded the electron fast so a bombarded electron fast means they increase the electron that is the source voltage very high so that the electron bombarded the, with the electron which are present in the target material and they knock off the electron completely out of the target material so that it uh, completely removed from the target material so at that original position it creates a vacancy means the knock off of knock the knocking of electron is such that that the electron from n is equal to 1 get excited to n is equal to infinity that is they get it completely removed from n is equal to 1 so to fill its position that is the original it creates a vacancy at the original position to to fill its position the electrons generally from n is equal to 2 get come to its n is equal to 1 position so in this way they create a high energetic radiation and that high energetic radiation i have already told causes a short wavelength and that is nothing but x ray as we are using high energetic electron beam so it sometimes it uh, creates an instability in the target material means it heat heated up it it uh, releases the temperature of the target material so it becomes unstable so it must be water cooled uh, so that it the temperature should be maintained very properly and uh, in this way the x ray are generally generated in uh, in x ray spectroscopy so this was all about how to generate origin of x ray and how to generate x ray instrumentally i have shown that uh, i have told you that the transition should be from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1 because at that position it causes a very high energetic radiation and also sort of length that is the property of the x ray always remember n is equal to 2 n is equal to 1 n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 1 also causes a very high energetic radiation but that is not very near to x-ray but that should be not be considered as x-ray so uh, this was all about the origin of x-ray and uh, its instrumental facts in in the next in the next uh, i will explain how to name the x-ray that is k alpha x-rays k beta x-rays and l alpha x-ray okay so i will explain now
This is the nucleus. And these are the cells. This is K cell. This is N cell. And this is N cell. Okay. So the electron in this position is completely knocked out. Uh, we are providing in that that here there is no electron present. And we are completely knock knock off knock off that electron from this position. So there is a latency over here. To fill this position, the electron gets transferred from N cell to K cell. That is from N is equal to 2 to N is equal to 1. So in that position, they emit an X ray. That is the electromagnetic, they emit an electromagnetic radiation. That is X ray. And that electronic transition is named as K alpha. Right? K alpha means the electron has traveled from L cell to K cell and it is named as K alpha. Right? If the electron, not this electron, this electron here has approached from this cell to the K cell. Right? We are considering not this situation but this situation, the electron which are present in N cell has come to the K cell to, to fill the vacancy. So it will also emit the electromagnetic radiation not close to the X ray, but it may be considered generally, it may be considered as an X ray. So it is named as K beta. Means K beta means the transition has taken place from means the electron has jumped from higher cell from N cell to the K cell, right? So it is known as K beta. Alpha means from the electronic has jumped from higher cell that is L cell to K cell and K beta means the electron has jumped from N cell to the K cell, okay? I have shown the two different uh, conditions or two different, uh, upper, uh, we can say the two uh, different possibilities that an electron can jump from higher cell to the lower cell. So, these are the uh, uh, about origin of X-ray and how to generate X-ray instrumentally and these are these are actually named like this K alpha and K beta X-rays. In the next uh, class, I will show you about the each spectrum, how it is of spectrum is obtained uh, in X-ray spectroscopy and how it depends upon voltages means the intensity of the X-ray actually depends upon the voltages we are providing. So in the next lesson, I will uh, study, I will teach you about continuous spectrum, right? So, all the best and if you have any doubt, so you can um, comment me in the comment section and uh, I will be very appreciated if you, if you ask me any doubt, I will be, I, as soon as possible, I will clear the doubts. So, thank you and have a nice day.